It was particularly fun to write about a character who was growing up in the 1950s. I was born in 1951, so I have some memories from the 50s. Mary Ellen was a, an absolute blast to work on and to do research for. We uh, read the newspapers that arrived on her front step every morning, so I could see what the weather was like, what was going on at the beach. So it really helped us make Mary Ellen as authentic as possible. So in researching fashion, of course, I all was looking at vintage garments, and we're lucky because this period there were a lot of garments that still exist. And I found this beautiful white prom dress with this gorgeous pink sash with all of these layers and layers and layers of ruffles. And that dress really spoke to me and resonated. It's just such a fun time period that, that you just get caught up in it. And the, the music and the diner and the jukebox that go along with it is just such an iconic 50s fun thing that it just, there were so many good ideas it was really hard to even like figure out how to put it into a doll size product. The 1950s is a time period that a lot of people today have lived in and especially grandmothers who were girls back in the 1950s and that multi-generational experience something that not only a mom can share but also her mom can share with her now granddaughter was really a huge part of why we brought the 1950s character to life. And grandmas will start elaborating about how they felt when they went to a particular dance or why they were optimistic about America after in the post-war years. So I think there's going to be a lot of good conversations about the past because of Mary Ellen. So as I sat down to write the Mary Ellen books, I realized this was going to be a shared experience. So I wanted, particularly in the Mary Ellen books, to focus on how women's roles had changed and how they were the same as well. The thing that sets her apart from other girls in the Be Fair of Our Line is the very fact of growing up in the 50s and the way her personality is a girl-sized version of the major social and political and economic issues of the 50s. I hope Mary Ellen will be a friend. I hope she'll be a solid solid friend uh, for the reader and someone the reader can be inspired by, uh, share her troubles with, and someone who will help the reader say to herself, always try to stay true to the person that you feel you really are. That's Mary Ellen's journey and I really would hope that the readers would, would that, that message would resonate with the readers as well.